Catalonia puts independence back on Spain's national agenda, as the first day of political campaigns ahead of a key election are set to kick off. Voters will go to the polls to elect a regional parliament in two weeks and determine whether the region sets off on a path to independence or puts its secession aspirations on hold. Pro-independence activists have turned the vote into a plebiscite on secession. If they win on September 27th, they pledge to unilaterally start a process of separating from Spain, rather than try to negotiate with Madrid. Independent activists in Catalonia, a region of 7.5 million people that produces a quarter of Spain's exports, say the Spanish government drains the region of taxes and doesn't respect its language and culture. Madrid says Catalonia reaps significant economic and political benefits from being part of Spain. Artur Mas, who leads the Catalan regional government, is a supporter of the pro-Catalan independence Together for Yes campaign. Just for say that it really can introduce the change positive that this country needs, and more and more, I would say, also the change that is happening at all levels, outside of our own territory. Meanwhile, popular party candidate Xavier El Buell urged his supporters to stand up to pro-independence enthusiasts. We're going to go to one. Y sobre todo, vamos a plantar cara a aquellos que quieren romper la convivencia y a aquellos que nos quieren convertir en extranjeros en nuestro país. Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy said his government would consider any step toward independence unconstitutional and move to block it. No Spanish prime minister would accept this, neither I nor any other, unless he goes crazy, he said in a radio interview last week. Renewed uncertainty over Spain's political future threatens to deter investment and undermine the country's economic recovery. Just a few years after the devastating collapse of a property bubble and subsequent bailout of the banking system.